Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and happy new year. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and thank you all so much for your incredible comments on my last video. I really appreciate it. Also, welcome to this little video all about the Coom Automatic Long Point Pencil Sharpener. Yes, I am making an entire video about a pencil sharpener. Why am I making a full video about a pencil sharpener? <laughs> well, in fact, this sharpener is actually amazing. I honestly feel like it is a must if you either love sharpening your pencils, you never know, but also if you are somebody who works with colouring pencils really regularly, I just think this is incredible. And I discovered this quite a while ago, but I just thought I'd like do a proper video about it and I'm going to do a live demonstration of me actually sharpening a pencil. You cannot get more exciting than this. So a little bit more about this fantastic pencil sharpener and also some confusion about the name. This is called the automatic pencil sharpener however it isn't actually automatic. This isn't a manual pencil sharpener where you do actually have to twist the pencil or twist the sharpener one or the other. I'm sure I have the wrong technique for this by the way. I think, I believe the correct technique is to actually twist your sharpener but I normally, I'm just so used to twisting my pencils so <laughs> I may show you the incorrect technique but basically even if I'm doing it wrong it still works. So um, yes and so this is actually a manual sharpener but it's called Coom, that is correct and it is from, it's made in Germany and it's extremely sort of famous because of this incredible long point that it can make when uh, you use it on your colouring pencils and this is actually a vital thing. Now it's so much like, it reminds me so much, much of when you find the perfect paintbrushes for your oil paintings or acrylic paintings or whatever, um, this is equivalent to that, this sharpener, because if you are making drawings with just an ordinary pencil sharpener you haven't lived <laughs> until you've got your pencils to this extremely fine and amazing point and this is a two hole pencil sharpener oh, and whatever you were taught at school that's you know you could you know the best thing to do is to have a pencil sharpener with one hole <laughs> the ones we're used to, right? That's what you assume, but no, this has two holes. Uh, one hole is to basically sharpen the pencil and the second is to create that really super fine point. So it looks extremely weird. The pencil looks really weird when you've used the first hole. Okay, it's when you use the second hole that it's turned into this like long pointed pencil. So don't think you've done it wrong the first time. Now this um, does work with, this blue one, does work with the Garon d'Ache Luminance, which is something I didn't know. And I desperately needed a sharpener for these and I couldn't uh, work out from the website whether this actually, uh, you know, was the right size but it is. So it's this blue one and all that's indicated on it is it says automatic long point and that's it. So yeah, it is a bit of a tricky thing but this is the six pound something one on Amazon at the moment. It may change in price but I think it's been that price for quite some time. I've had it for ages and I did pay something like six pound something. Um, I feel like it's the easiest to get off Amazon. I think I tried um, another website maybe maybe it was Jackson's, maybe it was somewhere else and I think it was slightly more expensive so I think it was the cheapest on Amazon and it does have great reviews on there. There were some pe people who were a bit confused as to how to use it which is why I'm here. So I'm going to select a pencil, this is like the moment of truth, I'm going to select a pencil from my book. It's the most boring colour, this is like some sort of olive green. Actually this is actually a really nice colour but it looks boring. Um, so I'm going to shove this here. So here we go. So this is your pencil sharpener. What you do is, I haven't done this in ages so I hope I get it right. So there's two holes here. There you go. One bigger hole and one smaller hole. So the first, first uh, hole you use is the one on my left. I believe it's that one. So it's quite logical. So you go in with your pencil sharpener like this, uh, like so. And if you can see here, this is where obviously your shavings come out. Now the one drawback to this sharpener, or it could be seen as an advantage, I don't know. The one drawback, at least, um, could be seen as a drawback, is that this is really small. So every time you use the pencil sharpener, you do have to empty the shavings. But for me, I feel like that's a slight advantage because if you have one of those wells where your like sharp things can build up, 
then you can leave them like clogging up with loads of sharpenings and shavings in them for ages and then when you come to empty it's like you know you can accidentally open the wrong side and then the bleh, like the sharpening sharpenings go everywhere not that that's happened to me yes it has millions of times especially with the um i think it's the fiber castle one i used to use okay so here we go this is it and then you keep sharpening this isn't particularly blunt so i don't know how much i'm just going to do a little bit no not there yet just keep going and um, some people twist this the actual sharpener itself i think that's actually the better way to do it so i'm just going to show you that's another way of doing it still not done yet because you can see that the point is not particularly um sharp but it's going there so i'm gonna oh right wrong hole gonna keep going which way am i going this way Okay, I'm just going to do it the same as I'm used to doing it. I feel like everyone sharpens their pencil this way, apart from like professionals. Okay, there we go, we've done it. So, at one point, once you've just sharpened it a little bit like I just did, you'll get this really funny long point, but it's sort of like a stub at the end. It's almost like a square at the end, right? So that is really weird and it's not a point at all. It's like sort of like this bobble thing. And so that, at that point you'll think like, what the hell? Like the first time I did this, I was like, what the hell is going on? Sorry about the profanity. Is that profanity? I don't know. <laughs> I hope there are not any religious people watching. Religious people who love sharpeners. Okay, and then uh, then you go to the smaller hole and you do this. And now this you don't have to do for very long. Literally two seconds. Just go like a few times and it should. It's sharpened it all up. Okay, so you can see that is absolutely the sharpest point ever. I wish this would focus. I'm just waiting for it to focus because it's actually... I'm like so sad. I think this is the most amazing thing ever. Uh, but there we go. So you can see it is the sharpest point in the world. I'm actually more excited by the fact that I was actually able to sharpen a pencil on camera. Woo! So it's a good start to 2022. So yeah, so this is it. This is a sharpener that I can confirm works. I feel a bit fancy now. Um, so this is a sharpener that I can confirm does take these Garandage Luminance pencils because there's literally no information about this and I looked through almost every Amazon review and there's like so many on there and they're all just like oh yes I use my Derwent pencils and I use this pencils and it sharpened them perfectly and I was like well what about these ones uh, so I know a lot of you out there have these so yes get the get this sharpener and don't get the other ones obviously just check that it's the one that I'm talking about but as I say there's very little information um so it's around six pounds if you're in the UK <laughs> and I hope this video was helpful um, and let me know if you'd like more sharpening videos <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next one take care guys